How to make the background slide effect. Today's video is sponsored by Steve Jobs. Duplicate your clip, select the second one, make sure that you're in the first frame, and go to the color page. Go to the magic mask panel. This is not available in the free version, so I wanted to flex my studio version and my new MacBook's power. Activate the toggle mask overlay, set the quality to better, increase the blur radius to 2, and draw a line on your subject. Hit the play button and wait for the AI to do the hard work for you. If you are in the free version, good luck with rotoscoping your subject. Or you can finally spend some money and buy the studio version. When you are ready, right click to the nodes panel, add an alpha, output, and connect the blue points. Go back to the edit page. To make things easier for your computer, right click to the masked out clip, and select to render it in place. Change the type to Apple Pro Res 4444 to keep the alpha channel also. Select the first clip, right click on it, make it a new fusion clip, and open the fusion page. Add a transform node, change the edges to mirror, right click to the center value, and select to modify with XY path. Go to the modifiers tab, double click to the X and Y to reset them. Right click to the Y slider, and select to modify with anim curves. Change the source to duration, the curve to easing, and set the in and out to elastic. Increase the scale value to 6, and the offset to 0.5. If you want to make it faster, you can increase the time scale value. Go back to the Tools tab. From the Settings menu, activate the Motion Blur box. Change the quality to 20, and increase the shutter angle all the way up. Go back to the Edit page, and bring your masked clip above the first one, and you are ready. If you liked this clip, subscribe to this channel. If you didn't, you can go back to Windows Movie Maker.